Good morning. Today, temperatures are starting off nice and mild, but they're not going to get much warmer than this today. In fact, these may be our warmest readings for the rest of the day because temperatures are going to be dipping with some colder wind blowing in out of the north today. We're looking at a 19 degrees in Fargo, 14 in Grand Forks, 14 in Crookston, and 13 in Devils Lake, 19 in Detroit Lakes and in Fergus Falls uh, this morning. And in Fargo, our wind chill, 8 degrees. We're at zero in Grand Forks. And it feels like one above now in Howlock and over toward our eastern viewing area. A lot of places there not really getting much in the way of wind, so our wind chill is not much of a factor here. Wind speeds are ranging anywhere from calm off to the east to some teens in the valley. We've got 15 miles per hour out of the northeast in Sisseton, straight out of the north at 13 miles per hour in Grand Forks this morning. So uh, looking rather uh, light and quiet. We do have, once again, some mist out there, a little bit of fog developing, not as bad as yesterday, but it's still there. You can tell there are some places with diminished visibility down to five miles in Fargo, seven in Fergus Falls. Again, this isn't bad, but it is a sign that there is some moisture in the air, and we may be getting more slick spots on some of those roadways. A look at our radar and satellite composite. A few uh, snowflakes possible for us this morning. We've got mostly cloudy skies through much of the valley. As we expand the view, we'll see some snow showers in parts of the Dakotas and now pushing into Minnesota. One bout of snow on the northern end of a system uh, moving its way through the central plains. We're getting some snow with that in South Dakota, and then some more snow off to the north and west into northeastern Montana. And we may see the influence of this for today. We'll show you that here in our hour by hour forecast. Temperatures are going to be into the teens this morning, dipping down into the low teens up north or Central Valley, I should say, right into the single digits up along the international border. And we'll hang on to some mid teens in the south. Uh, this is at 9 a.m. And notice there are some areas of snow in the region. Some of that may make its way, especially into our far southern viewing area here down toward Wheaton and the Sisseton area this morning. This is around the noon hour. Temperatures rising once again, but they basically stay in the mid to upper teens in the Southern Valley and some low teens up north. So maybe a few degrees after initially bottoming out here this morning. And again, right along our North Dakota, South Dakota state line, southeast, southeastern North Dakota, we'll be seeing a chance for some snow showers as well, especially if you're heading down into South Dakota, if you're traveling in that direction today. You want to be aware of what's going on with the weather. You'll probably run into some snow. Later on this evening, temperatures into the single numbers up north, some double digits in the south, but we all dip down uh, to near the zero degree mark along the international border and a little bit warmer than that at 11 o'clock tonight in the south. Wind stays out of the north, kind of being influenced by that cooler flow. So temperatures are going to be on the cooler side compared to yesterday uh, here in the valley. Here's the snowfall potential. Most places not seeing any. If we're in the southeastern part of North Dakota, you may see a dusting of snow up to about an inch and then farther south from here. So maybe about an inch of snow down toward Wheaton and Traverse County and into Sisseton with this round that's moving through. Really cool shot of light pillars. Almost looks like a spaceship here uh, in Hoffman, Minnesota. This is great. Thank you so much, Chris, for sharing that with us. And next couple of days are going to be a little bit cooler. A minor setback here. This is still doing pretty well. 16 degrees for today with mostly cloudy skies. This is afternoon highs. Of course, we're warmer than that right now, but we're looking at afternoon highs here. And then for Friday, 18 degrees will be your high temperature with those clouds decreasing. We'll get to see a little bit of sunshine, and that'll be a great way to start the weekend. We've got a mild weekend ahead. One thing, though, Saturday, it's going to be breezy, so this 33-degree temperature may not quite feel like it, but still it'll be a milder day. And then for Sunday, a chance for a few flurries, temperatures into the 20s. And then as we look ahead into next week, not bad. Temperatures right around the average for this time of year. So we're doing pretty good. And our best chance for seeing some snow will be on Monday. And of course, today, if you're in our far southern valley, you have that shot of seeing a little bit of light snow too. Otherwise, a quiet day, a gr another gray day, and a little cooler than yesterday. But I think we'll take it with temperatures in the double digits above zero. That's doing pretty well compared to where we've been. No kidding. Thank you, Lisa. This weekend is likely to bring them out. Drivers who insist on keeping their cars clean even in the dead of winter. It's not such a bad idea, however. The Valley Today's Christy Larson is live coming up next with more.